Experts tell me 10 years ago, vodka was the drink of choice. However, now they're seeing a new trend, bourbon, whiskey, scotch. It's so popular, it's flying off the shelves. Hard to keep up with the trends because, I mean, one week it might be this whiskey's really popular. And so, I mean, it's just all about trying to keep up with the popularity. Experts say whiskey of all kinds is the new obsession for drinkers. The previously male dominated trend is now evolving. It's something young urban people desire and even women. And women are coming out and wanting to go to our, our monthly tastings now and they're coming and they're sitting at the bar and ordering a Manhattan or uh, old fashioned or stuff like that. So. It's, it's kind of nice to see everybody getting into it. Sales of single malt scotches have doubled. Bourbon sales have tripled, and that's just in America. Globally, the whiskey business is booming. They're buying a lot of that product up, and uh, some producers uh, don't even bring uh, product in the United States anymore. Some of the cognac producers, uh, they're still producing the product, but because they can sell every bottle that they produce in the Orient, they're shipping to the Orient, and no allocation for the United States market. And because the demand has gone up, supply is down. I think, you know, in the next five years, that's the thing, is people really need to get used to not being able to find something that they used to be able to find. We're very sad. We're very sad. Experts say this isn't a new problem. The industry has always been about guessing the future. Distillers predict what trends will be like and make the quantity they think will be desired. When it says that it's an 18-year-old, um, that means that it literally sat in the barrel for 18 years and so they have to understand that the supply, if the supply isn't there, then they can't get it. When there's a shortage, you can't uh, you know, immediately fill the gap with product. Yes, you can make more, but it's still going to take 10 or 15 or 20 years, even if you double your production, to be able to sell it then. In the meantime, experts say it's all about being a smart consumer. We try to search out good bargains as well, uh, independent bottlings or other bottlings that we can find from people so that we can continue to collect and not spend so much money. On Don't be afraid to try the younger stuff, you know, try to see if you can experiment a, a little bit and find something that you like just as much. Experts tell me because distillers are struggling to keep up, they're ensuring their customers are happy by watering down their bourbon. Some single malt scotches are even being released without an age. But the best advice I've heard so far is to stock up. Unlike wine, whiskey stops aging after it's bottled. So you might as well buy as much as you can afford. That way you have some for a rainy day. Reporting from Midtown Crossing, Melina Mathis, Fox 42 News.